Ever since COVID, we have been using our laptops a lot more. And you know what? Today I'm going to tell you some super useful laptop gadgets that will make your life a whole lot easier. There are actually 10 gadgets and the fourth one is my absolute favorite. But there are also a couple of gadgets that are just super useless and you should stay away from them. So yeah, let's begin. Most people are working from home these days and chances are you have set up a monitor, a mechanical keyboard, you know, a proper work setup. And in that case, a laptop dock can come in really handy. I mean, you can close your laptop, put it into this and continue using a laptop while saving space on your desk. Pretty cool, right? Plus, if you have one of those thick laptops, you can just adjust this into whatever size you want for a perfect fit. I also like the solid aluminum alloy build of this dock and the non-slip silicon mat inside as well as the base. The price? 1200 rupees. Are you guys tired of your mom coming to your room and yelling at you to clean up the goddamn room and get rid of the messy wires? Well, I'm not sure about cleaning the room, but you can fix the goddamn wires. See, this wire bin is great. You can put in the extension board here, plug in all your wires and just close it. And voila, your mom ain't screaming no more. I mean, here's a before and after of my desk. And as you can see, it's clean and nice. As for the price, you can't really put a price on your peace of mind, but you can put a price on this. And that's just 800 rupees. Hit like if you like this. Okay. There are times when you need a secondary screen to keep track of the cricket match scores, uh, your uh, to-do lists, your Bitcoin investments, lol. A dual screen laptop would be cool for that, but for all of us who cannot afford a dual screen laptop, which is basically all of us, the next best thing is this, yeah. This is a magnetic laptop phone holder. You stick it on your laptop here and then just pull this out and place your phone right on there. How does it work? Magnets. Yeah, you need this on your phone too. Now this is great because I use it to take work calls, check scores, you get the idea. The price, around 500 rupees. When you're working from home, there are times when you get into these weird seating situations. You know what I'm talking about. And in that case, enter the lab desk. This is pretty cool. You can carry it along like a briefcase and feel all professional. Jokes apart, it has this soft cushioning on the back so you can comfortably rest it on your lap. Then you have the space for the laptop. A mouse pad is there next to it. And you even get a sort of phone holder thingy here. Now this is actually useful because it's a flat surface so your laptop rests easily on it and you can work on your couch for long periods. As of the price, this is around 800 rupees and yeah, I like this. The next laptop gadget is for times when you can't really charge your laptop. This is when you need this power bank. It's a 20,000 mAh USB PD 3.050 watt power bank from Xiaomi that can charge USB-C laptops at 45 watts. I tried charging Akshay's MacBook Air and it took the laptop from 10 to 40% in 30 minutes, which is pretty good because a power bank is something you'll use as an emergency charger. So yeah, this is good. Plus this power bank looks good, has multiple USB ports and it comes with a USB-C to C cable in the box. When it comes to price, it costs 3,700 rupees. You must have seen all kinds of stupid, weird laptop cleaner thingies, right? Well, check this out. This looks good. It has a super soft brush on one side and a microfiber pad on the other side. So it's basically a two-in-one laptop cleaner that's actually a two-in-one waste of your money. I mean, this costs 3000 rupees and it can't clean sh**. Great way it's due. The brush kind of works fine for cleaning the crumbs of your keyboard. But if you have a MacBook, I'm pretty sure your screen looks like this. And if you want to clean it off with this, yeah, good luck with that. So yeah, don't buy this. Laptop webcams suck. I mean, no matter if you have a budget laptop, a cheap Chromebook or a high-end premium laptop, all the webcams suck. I mean, a good webcam is a must these days with all the video calls, meetings we attend. This is the Lenovo 300 FHD webcam and it's pretty good. This makes sure you don't look like this in a video call. Instead, this makes you look like this. Yeah, this is way better in terms of sharpness, details and colors. It's a plug-and-play webcam that works with both Windows and Mac 
and it has a 2 megapixel 95 degree wide sensor with 1080p support and it has dual mics for better audio quality. I also like that you can mount it anywhere, tilt it around and there's also a privacy shutter in there. To be honest, there are better webcams at higher prices but this is pretty good at 2000 rupees. A lot of laptops, especially gaming laptops, are pretty hot and not in a good, sexy way. I'm talking about throttling issues, heating issues and whatnot. And if you have a laptop like that, you need a good cooling pad like this. See, this one has five fans, one big one in the center and four smaller fans surrounding it and actually cools things. This is a laptop without this cooling pad after 3D Mark benchmark. And this is the laptop with the cooling pad. As you can see from the red zones, it actually makes a difference. The cooling pad also has these blue LEDs and you get the small screen and buttons using which you can control the fan speed, the lights and more. This whole cooling pad is also height adjustable with multiple angles that also help in heat dissipation and it has two USB ports. The price, 2000 rupees. If you have a budget laptop with no fingerprint scanner and the only reason you're planning to upgrade your laptop is because you want a fingerprint scanner, well, first of all, you dumb dumb. And second, you can instead buy this 2000 rupees fingerprint scanner. You can just plug this in your laptop, set up the software, and then add your fingerprints in the Windows Hello settings. Then you can unlock your laptop like this. You can also use it to lock your folders and files, but the software here just plain sucks. So maybe not if you don't have the patience. This is not exactly a laptop gadget, but trust me, it'll help you use your laptop. I mean, you know how annoying it is when the power goes off, the router goes off, and then the backup generator starts, and the router restarts, and then the power comes back, so the generator goes off again, and then the router starts. Yeah, you know what I mean? I mean, in this whole story, you're just sitting with your laptop on the lap desk, waiting for the internet. I know, it feels like eternity. Now, if you relate to this, you should buy this power bank for the router at rupees 1600. This makes sure your router keeps running without any lag even when there's a power cut. It's basically a UPS for routers and it supports most routers from different brands. So yeah, pretty good. Well, I know what you're thinking. These laptop gadgets are super useful. I should share this video. Well, I like the way you think. Also for people thinking about liking this video, I like you right back. Well, that's me signing off. Thanks for watching and subscribe to our channel for more amazing tech videos. This is a sleeping mask that can also play music.